High blood pressure is one of the most common health conditions that affects women as they get older. About 30% of women are diagnosed with high blood pressure or hypertension, and the rates increase as women age. Interestingly, men have high blood pressure at higher rates over women until women reach menopause. Once women reach menopause, their rates take off. Women are at much higher risk for high blood pressure compared to men. So it begs the question, does menopause cause high blood pressure? Let's talk about it. So let's start by talking about what high blood pressure even is. High blood pressure is when the pressure that's exerted on your vessels running through your body is at high levels in which it can put you at risk for adverse events like heart attack or chronic health conditions like heart disease. Now, high blood pressure is measured by just taking blood pressures. If your doctor suspects that you may be struggling with high blood pressure, they'll wanna have a series of blood pressure readings to see where you lie. So normal blood pressure is typically considered 120 over 80 and a little bit below. Now you don't wanna to go too low because blood pressure is vital for life and you need to be able to perfuse your organs. When your blood pressure is consistently between 120 and 129, you're kind of considered pre-hypertensive, but once you start getting in the 130s and 140s, that's when your doctor's really gonna start thinking about ways to manage high blood pressure to ward off those adverse events and chronic health conditions. Now to diagnose blood pressure a little bit further, blood pressure is basically a reading that's made up of the pressure exerted by your heart and your vessels. So the top number when you do a blood pressure reading is called your systolic reading. And that's the pressure that's exerted on your vessels when your heart pumps. Your diastolic pressure is the reading of when your heart is relaxed. So your, part, your heart pumps and relaxes. So systolic, diastolic. Your doctor is gonna look at both of those numbers to see if you are at risk for any chronic health conditions associated with hypertension. Certain behaviors and risk factors can increase the likelihood that you'll have hypertension. So family history, a history of smoking, high sodium diet, drinking alcohol, stress, and being sedentary or overweight can all contribute to your risk of having hypertension. So now we have to ask the question, is menopause a risk factor for high blood pressure? And there's a lot of different factors that we need to take in. So first of all, there's age. We know that the older you get, the more likely a person is to get hypertension. There's also the hormone factors. So in menopause, your estrogen levels fall. We know that estrogen is cardioprotective, so it helps decrease your lipids or your cholesterol, and it protects your vessels. So estrogen actually reduces your risk for atherosclerosis, which is where you have a buildup of contents, basically, in your vessels that can increase pressure. So when you lose estrogen once you reach menopause, you lose that cardioprotective nature. Now we know there's estrogen receptors all over our bodies, including all over our cardiovascular system. So the components of our blood can change a little bit as well. In fact, estrogen can offset our clotting factors as well. Furthermore, in menopause, we have menopause symptoms. So the symptoms itself can actually increase your blood pressure. So think of hot flashes. They have an interesting effect on your blood pressure. Similarly, menopause anxiety can certainly spike your blood pressure temporarily. If you have high blood pressure in menopause, it's really important to talk to your doctor because high blood pressure is not a symptom of menopause. It is a risk factor associated with certain parts of aging and especially in being a woman. So, Preventative healthcare is vital as women age and just in general, everybody should have annual checkups. Your doctor will check your blood pressure among many other things during a physical exam. So make sure to stay current with all of those preventative health screenings to ward off chronic health conditions that can shorten your life and worsen your quality of life.